I'm John Christopher Davis. This is for the Texas Music Project Concert Series. Click on the logo to donate. This song's called Barcelona.
everybody's heard of a goodbye, this next song is about a bad bye. We've all had bad buys. I know these guys in the band had lots of bad buys. It goes like this. Now, when I wrote this song, I thought in my, you know, my wildest dreams, I would go up to Memphis and record this at Sun Records, and I had the Memphis horn section on it, which we're going to attempt to try to do the Memphis horns in the solo section. Anyway, this is called Bad Bye. downloaded song it's an older song of mine and what I love about this is having the last laugh it's the song that got me fired from my last publishing deal and as the boys have uh, learned they, they've they, you've figured out like, how many times have I gotten this fired now <laughs> in, in this week <laughs> 
Yeah. So I kind of say it like it is, shoot straight from the hip. And I wrote this song out of pure frustration, turned it into my publisher. And next thing I know, like, you're fired. And uh, so I came back home to Texas and started doing my own thing. And thank God this, this little mom and pop radio station named 95.3 The Range, they hear this song and they start playing it over and over and over. Next thing I know, other Americana stations around the country, around the world, start spinning this song. And then I walk into Tom Thumb grocery store one day. And I never pick up USA Today. But I thought, eh, what the hell? I picked it up. And I turned to the music section. And I kid you not, I'm looking you straight in the eye. There I am. I'm like, what the? And this song ends up landing on like this top 10 list by this music critic by USA Today. And I'm telling you, there is no greater thrill than seeing your name in between The Who and Bruce Springsteen. That's about as good as it gets. So of course I had to uh, <laughs> take the article and uh, run it to FedEx and scan it. And I sent it up to my old publisher. I said, you like apples? And you like these, baby. This song's called The Bottom Line. I love bad harmonicas. There's something very charming about it for me. Take a look at what you're leaving behind. 
instead of always thinking about the bottom line. Well, it's lights, camera, action. I can't get no satisfaction. They spent a million dollars on a new CD while the kids at home download it for free. Hey man, you went too far, won't you? Bring back the radio star. You ran a good thing into the ground when you started selling sight. Over sound and the thing that saddens me the most are the things that once mattered are now a ghost. Hey, won't you take a look at what you're leaving behind instead of always thinking about the bottom line? The bottom line, the bottom line. Thank you very much. I hear you. No, really, calm down. You're getting carried away out there. That's good, boys. All right. This next song is called I Won't Give Up On You. In my wildest dreams, if you guys remember the band Crowded House, I always heard these guys recording this song. I still hear them recording this song. I Won't Give Up On You. Turn this love 
You guys are getting carried away. <laughs> All right. This is a lot of fun. And I want to remind you, I'm John Christopher Davis, J-O-N. And uh, we're streaming on Lemonade TV Plus. This is powered by SoundFi. And you should be wearing your headphones for the best experience. And we're doing this tonight for the Texas Music Project concert series. You should look them up, texasmusicproject.org, or just click on the logo to donate. It's a very worthy cause, and I know all about it. I'm telling you, it's a very worthy cause. And we cannot be here tonight without Sennheiser. They are our lovely sponsor for the evening. So thank you, Sennheiser. And uh, thank you, Lemonade TV and Sound5, for inviting us to the party. This is really cool, and we're, uh, we're glad to be here this evening. Okay. As you probably can tell, I'm kind of a throwback dude. Um, I'm a big vinyl records guy. I'm a big, you know, I grew up on FM radio in record stores, vinyl records. And when I was a little boy, my favorite thing to do was to take my $5 allowance and get on my Schwinn 10-speed bike and ride down to the Perry's Drugstore. This is in Memphis, Texas, which is the loneliest place to grow up as a kid. There's nothing to do other than put pennies on a railroad track and listen to vinyl records. And this was my life. I was consumed by vinyl records. They were, I took to it like a preacher would a Bible. I knew who the engineer was, who mastered it, who played drums, who wrote it, who was the producer, what studio did they do it in. And I was consumed by it. I'm still consumed by it. And I wrote a song about it. And here's why I wrote a song about it. It's because my little girl, she's no longer little, she's about to turn 18, she got into her daddy's vinyl record collection one afternoon. And she started playing... Bruce Springsteen and David Bowie and the Eagles and Crosby, Stills and Nash and the band. And I was just, that was a puddle of tears because she loved the music. And she thought it was really cool that you had to be very careful, careful when you took the needle and you placed it on the vinyl because it was precious. You don't want to scratch it. We don't live in that world anymore. Now it's an MP3 on our phone. Uh, you know, there's something very charming, something very romantic about holding the record and uh that's kind of what what i'm about it's what this band is about is 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 old school rock and roll and um i wrote a song about it it's called vinyl revival now when i wrote the tune i was walking one day and these words came to me it was like 
Eric Clapton, Johnny Cash, Aerosmith, The Who, The Clash, Merle Haggard, George Jones, The Eagles, and The Beatles, and The Rolling Stones. The Almond Brothers, and Van Halen, and Willie Nelson, and Chris and Waylon, Jimi Hendrix, Jethro Toll, The Boss, and The King of Rock and Roll. Sets too. And this next song is a tune that was inspired by a mixtape that I made for my girlfriend back in 1985. Here we are, 2020. She's still my girlfriend. That's a good mixtape. I should marry that girl. This one's called Boombox. Wow. I'm gonna move the kitchen 
I love Al Green. Love Al Green. And I like to put on Al Green records on Sunday mornings. How can you mend this broken heart? Uh -oh. And uh, I attempted to write a song, an R&B song. It's called That's No Way to Love Me. Wrote with my good friend Stan Lynch from Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. And uh, Let's we'll see how I translate with the trio here. That's no way to love me. Ready, Bummers? Yes, sir. Baby, you did 
won't search for a love that's real You best keep shopping for a better deal Baby, ooh, there's no way There's no way to love me No way to love me Ain't no way Ooh, there's no way There's no way to love me No way to love me Ain't no way Okay. I draw great inspiration from that girl that I made that mixtape for. And um, I wrote this little tune for her as well. And and this thing has been used in so many weddings around Texas. It's pretty darn cool when you have perfect strangers walk up to you and like, hey, we used your song, Tangle Up and You in Our Wedding. And I don't take that lightly because that's like, uh, you know, that's like, that's big deal. That's like the most important day in a bride's wife, in life right there. Man. Yeah. Life's like... So uh, here's our love song for the set. If I was a sculptor, I'd tell you what I do. Spend the rest of my life chiseling the mystery of you. Baby, I'm tangled up. Tangled up in you. Well, if I was a rich man, I'd tell you what I'd do. I'd buy California and name it after you. Baby, I'd Sell the d- 
darkest sea for one more day with you, baby. I so warm and fuzzy. Okay. I also like, of course, I, I'm a rock and roller at heart, but I love bluegrass music, too. And my granddaddy, John, when I was a little boy, my parents would drop me off for the summer at my grandparents' house. This is, would be in East Texas, Sulphur Springs. I would not see them for nearly three months. And it was great because... I got to ride horses, milk cows, bell hay, climb trees. I, it was like, I felt like a Huck Finn. I was just a little boy having a ball on this farm. And then every weekend, like Saturday nights, uncles and aunts and cousins and neighbors would come over and we would have, they called them shindigs in the front yard. And I remember very vividly sitting at my granddaddy John's feet who I'm named after and he played a fiddle and he was awful but he owned it and it was very adorable looking back on it now and by the way Steve when I played with your dad and Steve's dad plays violin he's a great fiddle player your, your dad can actually play <laughs> but I was reminded of my, my grandfather I was like wow and those are some really precious memories for me the shindigs. And, man, I'd watch my, my mamma get out there, and, boy, she'd cut a rug with her apron on. It was great. It was wonderful. Beautiful moment in time. And uh, I wrote a song about it. This is about my granddaddy, John. He was a pretty good-looking dude back in the day, and he could not play the fiddle worth a flip. But, boy, could he attract the ladies. It's called Second Fiddle. One, two, three, four. He was born in West Virginia in a miner's town. John Henry played the meanest fiddle around. He 
used to play the dance halls every Saturday night Driving all the girls crazy with a song so right He played it till he was 83 Day before he died he gave it to me Now I'm playing second fiddle in a bluegrass band Trying to make a living doing the best I can Playing second fiddle in a bluegrass band Mama back home don't understand why that lonesome harmony Your song lives on through me Playing second fiddle in a bluegrass band Well I worked real hard till I got it right Playing to the wee hours of the night When I turned 18 I hit the road blue moon up Kentucky, San Antonio Rose Right here I am and tell you right I can feel John Henry by my side When I'm playing second fiddle in a bluegrass band Trying to make a living, do the best I can Playing second fiddle in a bluegrass band My old lady back home don't understand Why that lonesome harmony Sets my spirit free Playing second fiddle in a bluegrass band Well that old fiddle set free The gypsy inside me Standing in his shadows I'm a living legacy Now my hands are tired and I'm getting old but Fiddle and bow. I'm gonna play for the saints who dared to dream Play for the sinners who were just like me And maybe when I'm dead and gone This fiddle I'm playing will stay Understand why that lonesome harmony sets my spirit free. Playing second fiddle in a bluegrass band, trying to make a living, do the best I can. Playing second fiddle in a bluegrass band, my old lady back home don't understand why that lonesome harmony sets my spirit free. John, we're coming to you from Texas, so that means you got to hear some country music. But in Tejas, we kind of got our own thing going on. It's a little more coffee black when we play country music. And uh, this song's called Drinking Your Memory Way. Simple, three part harmony. Let the song do the talking. I'm still drinking your memory away One year ago today we fell apart It's still raining in my So here's to you and me on our anniversary. 
the Grand Ole Opry right now. <laughs> yeah, that's good, boys. All right. All right, we're going to do one more song for you. This one's called uh, You Gotta Love Someone, but before we play it for you, I want to remind you guys, I am John Christopher Davis, and I must introduce my co-pilots this evening. This is Steve Ritter on the drums. Yes. Thank you. That's Mr. Brian Patterson on the bass guitar. And uh, we're a little hillbilly rock and roll trio. And we're coming to you live from Dallas, Texas. And uh, we want to thank you guys for uh, tuning in. And uh, just remind everyone that you're streaming on Lemonade TV Plus. It's powered by SoundFi. And I hope you've been listening with your headphones because that is the best experience. <laughs> and we're doing this tonight for the Texas Music Project concert series. And uh, that's, a org that's a charity that's near and dear to my heart, and I believe in everything that they're doing. They're making the world a better place and doing a lot of things for kiddos. And um, you should click on the logo to donate or go to the thetexasmusicproject.org to find out more about their important work and why we support them. And uh, last but not least, I want to thank Sennheiser for sponsoring this this evening. It's been a lot of fun. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. We'll close uh, the set out with a song called You Gotta Love Someone. This is a tune written with my good friend Radney Foster, who's still up there in Nashville. And um, we wrote this song, and we flipped a coin. We both had record deals at the time. We flipped a coin, and I won. I was like, God. I was kind of hoping he would win. But I won, and we put this out, and it did pretty good for us. It's called You Gotta Love Someone, and... Uh, you know, on a on a good night, we say you got to rub someone. On a bad night, it's you got to club someone. It's been a good night, so we're going to love on someone. Yeah, that's the most important thing. Okay, here we go.
never meant to be contained I know it's fast I know you're afraid But honey, love ain't love Until you give it away So hop on board My runaway train If you don't get crazy You'll go insane You gotta love someone You gotta love someone You gotta love someone To be happy Faith. Don't overthink it, darling, cause love won't wait There's nothing like the feeling, a sweet release Go ahead and do it, baby Set yourself free Good night, everyone.